For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the moment of the force about point O right here. So basically, what the first thing that I like to do is to calculate the x and y components of the force. This is the y. So the magnitude of the force, let's say this is the force f, the magnitude of the force in the x direction is equal to 600 pounds cosine of 20 which comes out to be 563.8 pounds and the magnitude of the force in the y comes out to be 600 pounds sine of 20 which when you plug it into your calculator it is 205.2 pounds so this one is 563.8 and this one is 205.2 the next thing you want to do is draw your lever arms so this will be the lever arm that this force is hitting and these will be the lever arm that this force is affecting. Now that you have both lever arms you gotta figure out the length. So the length of this lever arm is equal to 5 feet cosine of 30 which will go all the way from here and a little bit over to here and then 5 feet cosine of 30 minus 0.5 cosine of 60 degrees. I'm going to explain you where I got the 60 degrees. You know that this whole assembly is tilted at 30 degrees. This is 30. And you know that this is like a straight angle of 90 degrees. So this angle right here is simply equal 180 minus 90 minus 30 because this whole angle right here is 180 therefore the last angle is 60 degrees so 0.5 cosine of 30 will give you the length of the arm from here to here a little bit over so we have to go back to here by subtracting 0.5 this length right here cosine of 60 and I show you how I found this angle now that you have the angle and you have uh, the length of the arm you calculated and you get that it is equal to 4.08 feet and then you need to calculate this length of the lever arm which is calculated with the same principle 5 feet sine of 30 this time gives you the length of the lever arm all the way to here but you gotta add this last little piece which is 0.5 sine of 60 degrees which comes out to be 2.93 feet now that you have the length of both lever arms you can calculate the sum of the moments going counterclockwise is positive around O so the first force of 205.2 pounds is pulling the lever arm counterclockwise which means that it's positive so this is 2.93 for the lever length of the lever arm now the second force is pushing this lever arm counterclockwise as well so it's also positive and it has a magnitude of 563.8 pounds and the length of the lever arm which we found right here is 2.93 feet when you plug this into your calculator you get that the lever arm the sum of the moments around O comes out to be 2489.2 foot pounds 
which is also known as 2.4892 kilopounds per foot and since the value is positive it means that it's going counterclockwise final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.